I am Pascal Joly, the senior author and lead investigator of the RITUX-3 trial, which was sponsored by the Rouen University Hospital and designed, uh, managed and conducted by the French study group on autoimmune blistering skin diseases. The investigational product was Rituximab, which was provided by Roche. Retux3 was an open-label, randomized control study in patients with newly diagnosed pemphigus vulgaris or pemphigus foliaceus. Patients was, were stratified depending on disease severity and randomized to receive either rituximab associated with a low-dose and short-term prednisone regimen or a standard regimen of prednisone alone. This study showed that rituximab was more effective and safer than the standard regimen of corticosteroid alone. This study was published in The Lancet in 2017. My name is Diana Chen. I am the lead author and a senior medical director at Genentech, a member of the Roche Group in South San Francisco, California. In 2015, the United States Food and Drug Administration granted orphan drug designation status and in 2016 breakthrough therapy designation status to rituximab for the treatment of pemphigus vulgaris. To seek an indication for the use of rituximab in patients with pemphigus vulgaris, Roche collaborated with Professor Pascal Joly and Rouen University Hospital to utilize data from the Retex3 study to conduct independent analyses in the subset of patients diagnosed with pemphigus vulgaris and prepare regulatory applications for submission in the United States and the European Union. Roche's independently conducted post hoc analyses showed that at month 24, 90% of patients treated with rituximab plus prednisone achieved complete remission off prednisone for two months or more compared to 28% of patients treated with prednisone alone. In addition, rituximab patients had longer durations of complete remission off prednisone and fewer moderate or severe relapses. Rituximab was steroid sparing and allowed for lower cumulative doses of prednisone over a shorter duration, and fewer rituximab plus prednisone patients experienced severe or life-threatening steroid-related adverse events than patients treated with prednisone alone. This unique and successful collaboration between academia and industry, utilizing investigator-initiated trial data and independent efficacy and safety analyses, led to the FDA in 2018 and the EU Commission in 2019 approving rituximab for the treatment of patients with moderate to severe pemphigus vulgaris.